Hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn how to pick up items that are spawned in the game world. This is uh, made for 2D or 3D, it doesn't really matter because uh, it's always the same procedure. And we do not want to waste any time and jump right into it. And we want to continue where we stopped last time. So we created a world item and want to make sure that we can pick it up. Therefore I got this pickup controller. This is just a child object uh, on my player. And also this pickup controller has a box collider on it. This box collider has a trigger and the size of this box collider is just the range or the radius from where the player can pick up things. So with that said, let's get started right into the pickup controller. You see there is nothing left so we start really from scratch and we want to make sure that we get the ability to pick up items when we get right into the distance of this item. So therefore we enter the function on trigger enter. You see this is on trigger enter but the same function is there for 2D on trigger enter 2D so this function is for the 3D scene. We want to make sure that the game object which enters the trigger of our collider um, has the world item class on it. So we're just checking if it's available. What do we want to do with that? We want to add the item to our list for possible item pickups. So therefore we create a list of world items. Now we want to check if the item is in this list. We can't pick it up so we don't can pick up uh, things twice. So therefore we want to check if the item is in the list. And if this is the case, then we want to pick up the item. We also want to check the same procedure, but vice versa, when we exit the trigger. Now for the interesting part, the pickup, we want to use the old input system just for showcase purposes. So we just use the E as a pickup key code. If we got any items to pick up, so if the list of items to pick up is bigger than zero, then we can pick it up. Okay, how do we pick it up really? Of course, in real production games, you got a uh, inventory system, inventory manager, you name it. Um, in this case, I just want to make sure that the item is saved anywhere. Therefore, I create a list of item SOs, call it inventory. And I have here the list of item SOs. So we got an empty list of item SOs here. And we want to make sure that we pick up um, the first item in our list. So we also want to make sure that we have a function calling it public item so get item. Of course we could make a getter and setter and make the private item so to a property, but in this case we just return it in a function. So we have the item here and we want to make sure that we add it to the inventory. Also, and now this part is really interesting, we want to make sure to destroy or remove the items in the list. So, of course, we could make it a little bit cleaner. Nice. Let's see if this whole thing is working. So, you see, I press the E button and the cube here is destroyed, but we got our information in our inventory. Nice. To make it look a bit better, we can use the do tween library to scale it down and if the size is zero, we then can destroy it. So let's use this. We want to scale it to zero and this should take uh, zero dot one second. And if this is completed, we want to make sure that the world object is getting destroyed. So we just want to copy this line here in this little line. So let's have a look how it's looking. So we move towards this cube, press E, and you saw it, <laughs> it scaled down really, really fast and then disappeared and we have the weapon in our inventory. This is how you can pick up items into your inventory in 3D or in 2D. It doesn't really matter. 
And yeah, I hope you learned something. Uh, if you liked the video, then please hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, please hit the dislike button. Write me in the comments what you didn't like. And if you have comments for improvement, please write it down. And if you don't want to miss anything, then please hit the subscribe button and we see us in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.